Hey everyone! Michael Gray here, playing DuckTales 2 for the NES. That's right, I pulled out my old Nintendo Entertainment System, and today, I'm going to be playing a video game. This is the opening cutscene. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes, it's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. DuckTales, woohoo! I'm going to go easy mode, just because I haven't played this game in about five, six years. And I'm going to start off with Niagara Falls. Flint Heart Glomgold is after the Crystal Flower, too. Don't worry about that because you're not going to see Flint Heart Glomgold anywhere in this level. Alright, so the controls are very simple. Pretty much the same as the controls in the first DuckTales game. Except now, in order to do the pogo jump, you just press A and B. In the first game, you pressed A, B, and down. But in this game, it was reduced from a three-button combo to a two-button combo, which makes it much easier. Here's a hidden area behind the waterfall, and another hidden area. Here's Huey. He explains how to work the uh, rubber rafts that we're going to see later on in this level. The golf swing is when you're up against the wall and you press B. That's the exact same move you have to use in order to pull this thing. And you want to use a golf swing right here to get to a hidden area. And in this hidden area, what do you find? It's a piece of the treasure map. Now this is interesting right here. There's a landslide, a cave-in, and we're going to hear reference to it about three times in this level. Thanks for the advice. That's Bubba the Cave Duck, everybody. I don't really remember Bubba the Cave Duck. I'm told he's one of the characters who showed up in Season 2. I still don't remember him. I mean, I remember Fenton, who was Gizmo Duck. He showed up in Season 2. Mr. McDuck! We've got major problems going on! I think that's what he sounded like, right? I like Fenton. He was a fun character. But like I'm saying, right here, that landslide that's, that Scrooge caused by getting the treasure map piece, it trapped Gyro. It's an interesting bit of a storytelling. Makes the uh, makes this a little bit different from just your standard generic platformer. There's actually a little bit of the story to the level. The story being that there's a landslide, Gyro gets trapped, and the boss gets released. Now Gyro, he gave us a he gave an adapter to the pogo jump, which let which lets you destroy blocks that are that color iron blocks, you couldn't destroy them before, but now that you have the adapter, you can. You have alternate pathways here. You can go right in that area, or you can go down and right. So 
these are the rafts. Not much to say about them. Huey told you how to work them. Scourge needs them because apparently ducks cannot swim on water. He needs to uh, ride a raft. And like I said, you could have gone right. Or what I did was go down and right. Way is a little bit trickier because if you do a full jump, you'll hit against the spikes that are on the ceiling and you'll get hurt. Okay, climb the ropes here. This is a puzzle, but you pull the barrel away, destroy the block on the right, then use a golf swing on the block on the left in order to get the treasure chest. This launch pad use the uh, halfway point in the level. If you die, you'll restart next to the launch pad. And if you want, he will take you home halfway through the level. Which is nice. Now, this is always a little bit of a tricky area. You have to uh, jump across the logs while avoiding those enemies that are flying above you. But you don't always have to use a pogo jump. You can just do a normal jump like I showed you right there. Here's a falling bridge challenge. I recommend pogoing across the entire bridge. That way you don't have to worry about that bird which comes flying in at an inconvenient time in order to mess up your jump. And here we go, here's the rest of the uh, plot line for this level. The landslide has released the boss, the fire quacker. In case you can't tell that there are different colored jewels, the small ones are worth a little bit, the big ones are worth more, and the red ones are worth the most. Okay, so here what you want to do is press the down button in order to dock. <laughs> Get it? Because Scourge McDuck is a dock? Huh? 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 And here's the boss, the Fire Quacker. It will go across the screen with two big swoops. Or it will go down to a corner, like two big swoops. One, two. One, two. Or it will slide down to one of the corners in a straight line and throw some fire at you. Pogo off its head in order to hit it. There you go. The enemy is easily defeated. And we get the uh, fabled flower of Bermuda Falls. Not Bermuda Falls. You get the fabled flower of Niagara Falls, which is worth a million dollars. And after every level, you get to go to this item shop, where you can buy things like the special energy, which will increase your health meter by one. 